Today in the Audio Hotline studio, we have a handheld condenser microphone known as the Sennheiser E865. If you've been around this channel long enough to see me review a handheld condenser microphone, you know that I likey the handheld condenser mikey. Sennheiser is a very good company and they put out some very great quality products, so I'm extremely excited to test this thing out. But before we get any deeper into this review, let's get mic'd. Welcome all audio nerds to the audio hotline. And as I said before, we have the Sennheiser E865 in the studio. And if there are certain things that you want to watch in this review of this microphone, I do have a table of contents down in the description, also known as timestamps, whatever you want to call it. But you can go down there and click around or you can, you know, just hang out with me the whole time. That'd be cool. I'd like it, but do your thing, you know. Now, I don't want to sound like a damn broken record in these videos where I talk about handheld condenser microphones and how much I love them. So I will just briefly summarize it. I love a good handheld condenser microphone because it's kind of a mixture between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone. The reason that I say that is because it has better noise rejection like a dynamic microphone versus what a regular condenser microphone can do. And also it's built like a dynamic microphone so it can take a beating for sure. A handheld condenser microphone is a bit of a compromise. You just have to decide whether it's right for you or not. You don't get all of the benefits of a condenser or a dynamic microphone, but you get something right there in the middle that's pretty freaking awesome. Hopefully that was fast enough so all the people that have heard that spiel before don't feel like that took too long. Now I know that this microphone is designed for live vocals, but when it comes to me testing out a microphone, I like to see everything that it's capable of and not just test it out with what it's supposed to do. So we'll see if this would sound good for voiceover, podcasting, or even recording a guitar. We'll just test it all out. But today I'm recording the Sennheiser E865 into my Zoom H6 with the gain set at about 52%. Right now I'm using the Shure windscreen that's actually designed for the Beta 87A, but this windscreen actually fits really perfectly on here. I do believe that Sennheiser does have a windscreen that is designed for this, but I'll go ahead and link both of those down below if you want to check them out. Now when it comes to the price of this microphone, you can find it pretty much everywhere for $250. And if you decide you do want to pick up one of these microphones and you decide you want to help this channel out a little bit, I will have some affiliate links down below. When I look at this microphone, I kind of feel a little nostalgic. And the reason that I say that is because the first dynamic microphone I ever got was the Sennheiser E835, which looks pretty much identical to this. But this form factor, I don't know, it just gives me a warm feeling in my soul. But even though I do have some nostalgic love going on for the form factor of this microphone, don't worry, I will not be biased in any way. I will just lay the facts out for you to decide whether you want one of these or not. But let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box when you purchase the Sennheiser E865. The E865 comes with a Sennheiser microphone clip, and inside that mic clip there is in fact a microphone stand adapter. You will also get a Sennheiser mic storage and carrying pouch. And aside from that, you will get the microphone itself, the Sennheiser E865. The accessories that come with this microphone are pretty solid. The microphone clip is a nice build. It's pretty standard, but it, it feels nice. Now with the microphone pouch itself, I'm not crazy about it. The material doesn't feel super nice, but unlike the Sure carrying pouches, there is a little bit of padding in here. It'd be cool if it was a little bit more, but it's nice that it has even some. When it comes to the build of the microphone itself, it's fantastic. There's not really anything else to say about it. It is super sturdy and compact. It just feels really, really good. The body of this microphone does not have an on and off switch, although there is a version of this microphone that does have an on and off switch. Well, we've went over some of the basics. Now let's go ahead and nerd out and talk about the specs. The Sennheiser E865 is a pre-polarized condenser XLR microphone with a super cardioid polar pattern. This mic has a frequency response of 40 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a nominal impedance of 200 ohms balanced, a max SPL of 150 decibels, and a phantom power requirement from 12 volts to 48 volts. Now when looking at the frequency response graph of this microphone, you can see that the lower end under 100 hertz is pretty well dipped. This mic has a slight boost in the lows and low mids, as well as a boost in the high end. Now when it comes to the specs of this microphone, I don't feel like there's anything necessarily alarming. I will say it definitely isn't a flat microphone. It has some boosts in the high end and in the low end. 
But with what this microphone is designed for, which is live vocals, it makes sense that they want to boost some of those frequencies to get it to cut through a mix, but also sound full at the same time. But now that we've gone through some of the basics and some of the specs, now let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. Let's go ahead and test this microphone out. Throughout this review, I have been using a windscreen, but I will, of course, take this off during some of the tests. Now, if you get really close to the Sennheiser E865 and you give it a little sniff, for some reason it doesn't smell like anything at all. <laughs> and if you want to get really close to your windscreen and give it a little sniff, I actually wouldn't recommend that. There's probably some gross breath on here. Now just a quick warning, here are some plosives. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 Now if you want to get this for YouTube gaming or something like that, and you're going to be typing on a keyboard super hard, here's how it would sound. Not directly behind the microphone because we know this is a super cardioid microphone, so it's a little bit off to the side in its least sensitive area. Now let's go a little bit more in depth with the polar pattern and test it out with some white noise. Now, if you want to use this microphone for a podcast or anything where you're going to be using some post-processing, here's how it could sound with a little bit of EQ and compression. And if I use anything else, I'll go ahead and label it down here. Now, really briefly, here are the same post-processing settings, but without the windscreen on the microphone. Now, if you're going to be using this microphone on stage and you're going to be passing it back and forth in between your hands like a friggin' weirdo, here's how it's going to sound. Now, if you want to put some distance between you and the microphone, maybe you're a YouTuber that doesn't like the look of microphones because you're a sociopath. I don't know. I don't know your deal. But here's how it sounds when I'm talking about three feet away from the microphone. Now that we've gone through the basics, we got nerdy with some specky specs, and we tested this microphone out. Now let's go ahead and get to my review, my opinion of the Sennheiser E865. Now I'm going to do this last part without the windscreen so you can, you know, hear how that sounds. Like I said earlier, I have always had a love for Sennheiser because the E835 was my first dynamic microphone, and I just adored that thing. But don't get me wrong though, there have been some Sennheiser products that I've tried out that I've just been like... Yeah, that was a miss. And you know, when it comes to this microphone, I don't think it was a miss. I, I don't. I tricked you. You thought I was going to say it was a miss. You thought I was going to say that. Oh, God, you so good. So good. When it comes to the sound of this microphone, it just sounds really good and just very natural on the human voice. I have no doubt in my mind that this is one of my favorite handheld condenser microphones that I've tried out. It just is really good. Don't get me wrong though, there are always a couple faults with each microphone, and each microphone isn't going to fit every person's voice. But I do think they did a really good job and that it will sound good on a majority of people's voices. As far as like some negative things go, I will say that the noise floor is just a little high. I don't think it's too bad though. There are definitely some other handheld condenser microphones out there that are worse, but it'd just be nice if it was ever so slightly lower. But that's really all I have to say that's bad about it. Now, when it comes to some good things about this microphone, like I said before, I do think the sound is good. For this being a super cardioid handheld condenser microphone and it being more sensitive than dynamic microphones, I thought that it did an incredible job at handling noise. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was, I think that this is very solid handling noise though. The build quality, absolutely fantastic, amazing. It comes with the necessary accessories, so you can't be mad about that. This microphone actually does a pretty damn good job at rejecting plosives. $250 is definitely no joke, but this microphone is no joke. So the grade that I give the Sennheiser E865 is an A. So overall, I do think that this microphone is absolutely worth the price. This thing is just, awesome. It has good sound quality and good build quality and the amount that you're paying 
isn't unreasonable for the quality that you're getting. So I do absolutely recommend the E865. Thank you all for watching this review of the Sennheiser E865. I hope that helped you out, helped you decide whether you want to get one of these microphones or not. But most of all, I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews and audio related videos. And one thing to keep your eye out for is the fact that there's going to be some audio hotline merch coming out. <laughs> oh, I don't know who would want to buy it, but it's happening. But a big thank you to my subscribers and anyone who watches this video. I do truly appreciate you. And once again, thank you all for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you audio nerds next time.